between the words to say, hey, to say the words you remember. Now we're here to take control over your body and over your soul. We're gonna take back everything and lose it all.
All right, guys, let's talk about this build, okay? This build is ridiculous, all right? So this is, you know, a walking simulator, <laughs> okay? We don't have to do anything. Everything on here is completely done just by us running around doing absolutely nothing. So we basically, the way we do this is we have a bunch of cast on damage taken, okay? I'm gonna take off our heart loop here so we don't, you know, kill our computer here. Um, so we're creating a forever loop, all right, um, with cast and damage taken. So the way this works is we are casting skeletons right here. Um, I will have two path of buildings. One's the cheap version and one is this more expensive version um, to kind of give you an idea like how you can change things up and make it min max a little bit more so you can do more damage. Um, and the main reason we have this is we have the anomalous um, skeletons, uh, which the anomalous is important because we need they can't be damaged, right? So um, minions can't be damaged for a couple seconds, and the reason for that is because we have them uh, basically coming off non-stop, and we have so much uh, reduced duration that they're actually dying every 0.24 to 0.25 seconds, so four times per second, which is the cast of damage taken cap, which allows us to have as much as we have. So that percentage is actually really important and you can calculate that perfectly in Path of Building, figure out exactly what you need. Now with that we also have Anomalous Minion Speed for the minion duration, reduced minion duration, which is very important as well. If we don't have that reduced minion duration, the minions won't die fast enough and we will not be able to take our damage quick enough for our cast and damage taken. We want it to go off every 0.25, which is exactly what the cast on damage taken cap is. So we want it to go off four times per second, which is what we have it at right now. So whenever a skeleton dies, we take 350 damage, which procs our cast when damage taken. Now we have it. We have a couple of them that are higher level. And the reason for that is we don't want them going off nonstop. We want it to go off, you know, once a second or, you know, even just a little bit more than that. Um, because if it goes off constantly, especially for a wave of conviction, it's going to be casting wave of conviction so often that your wave is actually going to be like right in front of your character. It's going to be like right here and it's not going to do anything. It doesn't go out. Same thing with on your chest. Again, I am not leveled up all of my gems yet. Um, but in the correct path of building, it will show you the correct levels that they should be. And, you know, we're doing Stormbrand. That's where most of our damage from. So we're doing anywhere from 6 to 8 million uh, Shaper damage, especially when we use our Blade Blast to give us our extra damage boost. Um, it is super, 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 super nice. Um, you know, we don't have to do anything so the way that this works like how we get this started you're like well how do you get this started even like well i can put on you know i put on righteous fire and well that doesn't work like we're losing mana right well the thing with that is we have this staff here that triggers a level 20 spectral spirits when equipped okay we tried the wand but it gave us an error when we switched back so this isn't our alternate so when we switch this back to our main skill because it has these spectrals the spectrals will die we will then take 350 damage which starts our continuous loop and it basically kills your computer so the switch you to switch back to your alternate weapon and it fixes that or you can take off the heart loop either one it works um now how do we get the duration down uh, we also have three of the two dust cobot jewels which have the 20% reduced skeleton duration. Now, here's the thing. You don't want three perfect rolls. You want 120 and 219s, or 220s and 118. You need to be two off from max cap between the three of them. It's very important. If you have all 20% reduced skeleton duration, when your skeletons pop, they will instantly have zero duration, so they won't have any duration, so they just, your spell loop won't work. Okay, so you have to have 8%, or 18% in one of them, or two 19s. Okay, you gotta be two off from capped between the three of them. That's pretty much the most important thing here. Um, you know, every second consume a corpse, recover life. So every time we, you know, kill something, recovering 5% life and 5% mana. And we take more, we deal more damage um, when, you know, as we take things. So it's actually really, really nice. 
Uh, we do have Mind Over Mana. We do run with Agnostic as well. Well, not on full life. Sacrifice 20 per, per mana to recover that much life, um, which is really nice. So, you know, everything on here is very, very easy. It's rather cheap. I think I did the cheap build um, for, like, I even grabbed some more expensive stuff. I think I got it for, like, 15x or so the most expensive part is going to be your cloak of defiance okay everything else is really cheap um you just basically have to get res capped between your ring and your belt and your boots okay They're, it's not too difficult um and that's pretty much it that's the rest of it is in the path of building um and all we have to do is switch to our main weapon and we basically cast everything forever and we you know are rolling make sure you do have these uh, mana flasks of enduring eternal mana flasks of staunching it's really really nice for the bleed because you don't want to be bleeding and then the eternal one is really nice because it will continuously go until the end of the flask and we basically kill monsters and our life comes back and that is pretty much it i hope you enjoyed this amazing meme build and just like it's pretty fun just to run, walk around the entire map and everything just kind of dies and explodes and you know it's it's pretty entertaining <laughs> so until the next build guys i will catch you all later peace out